I am Firoz Sheikh from New York, USA. I am a student. After the Fard fast of Ramadan, which amongst the voluntary fast are the most important in, in order of priority? There are various voluntary fast besides fasting in the month of Ramadan. And we know very well the Quranic verses and the various hadith. We say that fasting the complete month of Ramadan whether 29 days or 30 days, is fard for every adult Muslim. Hussain, and who has, who is healthy, it's fard for every adult Muslim, man or woman. If he's sane, if he's conscious, if he has the health, and if he's not traveling, fasting the full month of Ramadan, whether 29 or 30 days is fard. All the fast besides the fast of Ramadan are voluntary. The question posed by Firoz Sheikh is, which is the most important fast in order of priority. As far as the most important fast is concerned, there is a hadith in Sai Muslim, volume number 3, hadith number 2747, in which the Prophet said that if you fast on Yom al Arafah, that is the ninth day of the Lijjah, Allah will forgive the sins of your previous years and the next years. So based on this hadith, the scholar says, this is the most important fast after the fast of Ramadan. So majority of the scholars say the most important fast after the fast of Ramadan is fasting on Yom al-Arafah, that is 9th of the Lijjah, based on the hadith of the Prophet of Sai Muslim, volume number 3, hadith number 2747, that if you fast on the day of Arafah, on 9 Zulajjah, Allah will forgive your sin of the previous years and the following year. There is one more hadith <coughs> which is there in Sai Muslim, volume number 3, hadith number 2755, which says the most important fast after the fast of the month of Ramadan is fasting on Ashura, the 10th of Muharram. And the hadith continues. The most important salah after the first five time salah is, is praying salah at night, that is the Qayyam al -Layl. Because of this hadith, some scholars say that the most important is the fasting on Ashura. But most of the scholars disagree because the other hadith of Sai Muslim, volume number 3, hadith number 2746 says that anyone who fasts on Yom al Arfa, that is the 10th of Muharram, Allah will forgive his sins of the previous year. So since the Sahih Hadith of Sahih Muslim, volume number 3, Hadith number 2746 says that if you fast on, on Muharram, the Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, Ashura, your previous year's sins are washed away, one year. But the next Hadith of Sahih Muslim, volume number 3, Hadith number 2747 says that if you fast on Yom Al-Arafah, the 9th Dulajjah, two years' sin will be forgiven. The previous years, and the following year. But natural, it's understood that the sins that the hadith are talking about are the minor sins. It doesn't talk about the major sins. That the minor sins you do, if you fast on, on, on Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, your previous year's sins will be washed away. If you fast on Yom al-Arafah, two years' sin previous and next year. So most of the scholars agree that fasting on Yom al-Arafah is the most important. Some scholars say that fasting on Ashura is the most important, but all of nuances agree that the two most important fast are fasting on Yom al Arafah and Yom al, uh, Yom al um, Ashura, the 9th of Zulajjah and the 10th of Muharram. So the most important is Yom al Arafah, the next is Yom al Ashura, the 10th of Muharram. The third most important fast are the fast of the first nine days of the Lajjah. The hadith of the Prophet that says in Sahih Bukhari, that is volume number two, hadith number 969, the Prophet said that the deeds done on the first ten days of the Lajjah are the most important deeds done in the full year. The deeds, the good deeds done on the first ten days of the Lajjah are the most important deeds done as compared to any other days of the year. So when the Sahabas asked, 
What about jihad? He said, even jihad, the good deeds done in the first train of Dhillijjah is more important even than jihad done on any other day of the year unless the person goes for jihad and comes back without his wealth and without his life. That means unless he's martyred and all his wealth is gone away, that is the only one deed which is better than the deed done on the tenders of the Rija. And the hadith of Abu Daud, that is volume number three, hadith number uh, two, four, two, four, three, seven, that the, the Prophet fasted on the first nine days of the Rija. So after fasting on Arafah and on Ashura, the most important would be fasting the first eight days of the Rija. Ninth we already covered, first eight of the Rija. And then would be fasting on the ninth and the eleventh of Muharram. So the first two fast are ninth of the Rija and the tenth of Muharram. Next is the first eight days of the Rija, first eight days of the Rija, and then the ninth and the 11th of Muharram. The Prophet said, the Yahud fasted only on 10th of Muharram. I will fast if I live the next year for two days, 9th and 10th or 10th or 11th. And the best is fasting all three days, 9th, 10th and 11th of Muharram. So the next best fasting in order of priority would be the eight days of, first eight days of Zulijja and the uh, 9th and the 11th of Muharram. The next in priority, in priority would be the Ayyamul Bidha. Because the Prophet had told, even the hadith of, of Abu Huraira, may Allah be with him, that my best friend told me not to leave three things every day. That is praying the Tajjud Salah, praying Salat al-Duha and fasting on three days of the year on Ayyam al Fasting on the 13th, 14th and 15th of every month, Ayyam al it is the next best in fasting. Then would be the six days of Shawwal. So the Prophet said that anyone who after the fast of Ramadan, fasting the full month of Ramadan, if he follows with the six days in the month of Shawwal, it's as though he has fasted the full year. Then would be fasting on Mondays and Thursdays. The Prophet said that I was born on Monday and, and the Prophet also said that the deeds go up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on Monday and Thursday. And when the deeds go, I would prefer it going when I'm fasting. So fasting on Monday and Thursday is also very important. And the other fast, which is the important voluntary fast, is the fasting of Dawud alayhi salam. He used to fast alternately. And the hadith is there that the best fasting, amongst all the fasting voluntary fast, is of Dawud alayhi salam fasting alternately. Now, you have to understand that when I'm telling the order, it is based on one single fast, which is the best, is Yom al-Arafah. The next best fast is Ashura, 10th of Muharram. But if someone asks me, if I have to follow one type of fast, which is the best? Of course, fasting every alternate day is the best because when you're fasting alternate days, besides Ramadan, there are 11 months. So if you remove 30 days out of 365 days, or remove uh, 29 days out of 365 days, you get a total of 336 days. So fasting alternate days of three or alternate days of 330, uh, 366 days, or sorry, 336 days would be would be 168 days. So fasting 168 days is very important. But one fast most important is Arafah. Second is Yomul Arsha. Yomul Ashura. Someone asked me which is more important, fasting Monday, Thursday is more important or fasting the Ayamul Bid. Now if you are fasting Monday and Thursday, in a month, there are about four weeks. So you are fasting eight days in a month because twice a week, Monday and Thursday. Vis-a-vis -vis three days Ayamul Bid, so fasting eight days 
on Monday and Thursday would be preferable than fasting three days of Ayam ul -Bid. But if someone asked me, if I am to fast only three days in the month, which is the most important? Fasting only three days? Is of course Ayam ul -Bid. on 13th, 14th and 15th. Anyway, fasting on those days is not a compulsory. If you miss, the Prophet even said you can fast one day in the beginning of the month, one day in the middle of the month, one day in the end of the month, and your Ayam ul -Bid is done. Or if you fast on Monday and Thursday, two Mondays and one Thursday, then also yeah, it's done on three days. But the best is Ayam ul -Bid on 13th, 14th and 15th of every lunar month when the moon is full moon, called as the white days. But eight days, Monday and Thursday, better than three days of Ayam ul -Bid. So you cannot give an order that way. But if you are counting one fast, the order which I said is correct. Only one fast, then Arafah. Then, then would be Yomala Shara. The next few fast is the first eight days of, of Zuluja, then of the 9th and 11th of Muharram, then would be three days of Ayam will be, then would be Shawwal, then would be Monday, Thursday, and then would be alternate day because there are more number of fast to, to do only one fast of Arafah is easy. Then, so if you want to fast one day in a year besides Ramadan, then do Arafah. If you want to do two, do Arfa and Ashura, 9th of Dhulujja uh, and 10th of, then you do more. So, but naturally, if you are doing Monday, Thursday, full year, the quantity is much more. In 11 months, that is uh, 48 weeks into two, you are fasting 96 days in a year. If you are doing Monday and Thursday, 96 days in a year. If you are doing alternate fast of Dawud al Salam, you are fasting for 168 days in a year. So of course, that would be the best. Then would be 98. But if one fast, then the order I give. So everything is subjective. But I hope I have given you uh, a brief outline of the importance of each fast. Hope that's the question.